Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video, as you might see from the title and the still images, is a Warhammer video. Um, it, it, so nerdy content uh, incoming for those that don't care about it. Feel free to skip this one. Uh, but uh, this has been a fun hobby for me and my son. And so I figure I will periodically do these kind of videos just because it's, it's a fun hobby and it's a fun game and it's a uh, been good quality time with him. And so I figured today's video, I'll talk to you about kind of our our kind of first impressions getting into the hobby. I mean, I did a previous video about getting into it for kind of cheap and more focused on just how to acquire the finances to do something that's kind of expensive, right? Um, uh, but helping to defray those costs. But now I want to talk about the game itself and getting into it and our experience. Uh, it's been fun, uh, first off, like I said. Um, so we chose to start with the, uh, recruit edition there, as I think I said in previous videos, it's 50 bucks, uh, and it includes basically two very small armies, like just two squads to fight against each other, as well as like this, you know, paper battle mat and the box lid, you know, turns into a little building for terrain, right? And then just some dice and rulers and basically everything you can do to, to, play a very small sample game so to me 50 bucks to see to play around to see if it's something you actually like um not a bad value and it even comes with like little stat sheets there for the units so you don't have to have any of the rules or the books or any of that other stuff right you, this is this is everything you need to play um the miniatures come unpainted so you don't even have to paint them if you don't want to just to try out the game you can just play it as is uh but painting is half of the fun and, and making these kind of things come alive, right? It's a lot more fun to play the game with fully painted miniatures than uh, just gray plastic. So um, I would highly recommend this as a way to start uh, as far as what's available out there. Um, you It does lock you in. So the two factions, it includes our Space Marines and Necrons. Um, so... It, those are the one those are the two starting armies you get to pick uh so that's that's what we chose uh i've always liked the the space marines i thought they looked kind of cool especially this particular you know variant that i painted up uh the ultramarines i always thought they looked cool so for me that was fine to to start off with those and then um <clears throat> choosing the necrons honestly didn't know a thing about them but they came in the box and this was the most economic way to get started so that was going to be the second army and my son was fine with that. He thought they looked cool. Anyway, um, so I said, in this box, you get these starter armies, um, as well as, you know, see some dice and rulers and that kind of stuff. Uh, on the Space Marine side, you get a, uh, you get a lieutenant, and then five assault intercessors, uh, one of which is a red helmet there as a sergeant. And then on the Necron side, horribly imbalanced, by the way, um, is what I've seen, is there are, every, I guess, backing up, each unit has a kind of a point value, so when you're fighting armies against each other, right, you, you have different points assigned to them so that you can kind of create a balanced force because there's there is a lot of complexity to this game, and so there's a lot of combinations of, of things you can do. And these Necrons have more points than these Space Marines, so it's, it's horribly imbalanced. Maybe not horribly, but it's imbalanced. They have the advantage. Um, on the Necron side, you get three Scarabs, Ten warriors, and then this royal warden here as their kind of their leader. Um, this is a very very fun game, very addictive game, both in the painting side and the uh, the play side. So I I'm not an artist, right? I'm uh, I'm an engineer. I'm not an artist. So I me and painting, I've never really been that much into it. But uh, after taking the plunge with this. It's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, so, I mean, you can see here, this is my first work. It's not the best, right? Because, again, I'm not an artist. But I'll kind of get you in there. You can kind of see the dudes. I think I did a decent job for my first go, right? And so I, I'm i happy with it. You know, it's a little sloppy. But it. I think it works. Um... And I'm getting better. So uh, we've, we've already expanded uh, the armies with more models. And I'm sure I'll, I'll shoot a video on that whenever uh, whenever all that's done and whatnot. But uh, 
this was the start of it, and it, it's been a lot of fun. So if you're if you're in, at all interested in the hobby, and for the longest time, I thought it was always cool. I thought it was cool since college, but I always thought the barrier to entry was too high. It's just, it's an expensive hobby. And to be true, truthfully, it is, right? It absolutely is an expensive hobby. Um, but when you compare it to other hobbies and other ways you can spend money, uh, it's not that expensive. And you can do it in bite-sized chunks. Um, you know, in this case, getting started... The starter paint set that you can get from from um, from Games Workshop uh, is a decent value if you compare it to just their paints in general. But it does lock you in. So in the case of the colors they give you on the Space Marine side, you're pretty much painting Ultramarines. Though they do have some other colors, you could do a couple of the other uh, chapters if you really wanted to. Um, Imperial Fist come to mind, or any of the I guess the the black armored uh, chapters. Uh, like your, your, what, your, what is it, the Black Templars or the Iron Hands, those kind. Uh, so you, you do have some more options, but all the decals they give you are all Ultramarines. Like you can see there, the the, the transfers, you know, that that, that upside down Omega symbol, right, and and whatnot. All the all the transfers are specific for the Ultramarines. So that's, that's, that is a downside to a lot, a lot of these starter kits is they pretty much, they route you into that path. If you're okay with that, great. You know, I, I, I certainly was. I This is the chapter I actually wanted to do anyway because I just thought they looked cool. Um, but that is, a, that is a, a downside. Likewise, on the Necron side, Necrons have different dynasties that you can paint them up as with certain rules and whatnot, different kind of factions, if you will. So in this case, all the paints steer you toward the Zarkan dynasty with this kind of brassy gold color. Um, so if you're cool with that, hey, go nuts. Uh, in, in our case, we were fine. It was kind of a, in our case, it was more of the, well, this is the most cost-effective option. Therefore, I guess we're playing these now. And if we really like it, we can always do other things later. So, but it's been a lot of fun. Um, so I would highly uh, recommend. It's good to me. It's good quality time with the kids and it's not a screen, uh, which, which I like, um, so I think that's about it. Um, I said I'll probably do more videos about this um, as we uh, as we kind of grow the collection and continue to play. But uh, let me know your thoughts. Anybody out there ever play Warhammer? Am I the only one? Probably not. Uh, I know there's a big following on YouTube, but uh, in at least in the people watching my channel, any of you play? Uh, let me know and uh, let me know your tips and tricks. I guess. So um, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.